Welcome back to Kentucky Route Zero. We need to search for some records for Dogwood Drive, so we're headed to the Archives and Records on the fourth floor. Just go right on past those bears. <laughs> they all looked at the elevator as we went by. Okay, this should be fun. Damn, this place is a mess. Okay. Mm, I'll take a look through that logbook, I guess. Maybe there's some kind of system to all these boxes. I'll just start digging. A few notes are scribbled on the inside covers. Most pages are just lists of titles, names, and dates. Check the inside of the front cover. Document staff, please do not transfer any more records from the storage until we get the new file cabinets in. We're up to F, and that will have to do for now. Okay, that's actually a good thing, right? If they're up to F. A, B, C, D for Dogwood Drive, right? A, B, C, D, E, F. So maybe relatively small subset of all the records. Maybe we're in luck, kind of. Instruct clerks to focus on activities beginning with the letters A, B, C, D, E, or F, or activities most likely to involve research on subjects beginning with those letters. For example, cars is okay because it involves automotive, driving, brakes, etc. But air quality is not okay because it relates to health, safety, pollution, etc. Just check page one. Several documents relating to sporting competition venues were quickly checked out and back in over a period of a few days. Basketball courts, baseball fields, alleys, and parking lots. Page 14. A single set of documents relating to coal mining operations was checked out and back in by several different people within a few hours. Check the back cover. Failing antique shops. Folder missing. Listed check-in on page 63, but not present. Failing antique shops? Uh-oh. Will that include Lysette Antiques? Let's put it away. Nothing? Me neither. Half these boxes aren't even labeled, and the rest are all from the first few letters of the alphabet. I couldn't find anything with an O or a G or an S. Maybe that clerk knows somewhere else we can look. Alright, let's head back down to the first floor. Okay, our office is down on the first floor. Nothing? That's unfortunate. Well, they must still be in transit. You see, we've only moved into this new venue somewhat recently, and it's all a bit in progress. This was a cathedral not so long ago. Can you believe it? And then the Bureau reclaimed it. The old congregation has been directed to one of our storage facilities for their activity. <laughs> I'm sorry, you took over a cathedral and told the congregation to go to a storage facility? That's... shitty. That's where you'll find the street name records, I expect. At the church. Mary Anna Reception can give you directions. Just come back here when you have the files, and we'll begin the necessary paperwork to have the information analyzed. Oh, and while you're out on the road, you might want to stop and see Dr. Truman about your leg. He's a specialist regarding ailments of the joints and limbs, and I know he works at nights. Uh, his home office is on a small neighborhood on the east edge of Bowling Green. Here's his card. Do stop and see him. That leg is a miserable sight. Take care of each other.
Yeah, I think I want to get the leg fixed up probably first thing, just so I can move faster, if nothing else. Alright, let's get those directions. Get what you need. Um, let's go with Shannon. Be straight with me, what is this place? Just another office lady. Just another job. But you kicked out a congregation to set up your office. I wasn't here for that, but yeah, I get where you're coming from. Still, I wouldn't judge until I'd seen everything. They've got a new church now. The Bureau set it up for them out of some of their old storage space. I'm sure it's very nice. Go see it for yourself. Just get back on the Zero and drive until you hit the crystal. Then turn around. Turn... Wait, what? We just turn, a turn around? Huh? It'll make sense once you get on the road. You can handle it. All right. Actually, one sec. Can I talk to Blue? Nope. We'll talk later, Blue. What's the map for this place look like? Whoa. Okay. Interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, there's a lot here. Am I ever going to be able to find my way back? Um. Storage facility? Go back the way you came, find the crystal, and then turn around. Okay. Oh, the crystal! Eight one nine two. Is that like a frequency? Because these look like sound waves, don't they? It's like I'm tuning to different frequencies. What is that? This is so cool. Oh. There it is. St. Thomas Church. Random access self-storage. So, RAM, basically. <laughs> this is where the church is. A storage unit. Uh, huh. that it? Over there? I don't see any congregation. Maybe it's after hours. Let's see what the janitor knows, I guess. Oh, here for the night mass? Where's the congregation? I guess this must look pretty strange, a church without a congregation. When they first moved in here, man, this place was packed. They had a mass every night, two on Sunday. But it got a bit awkward to fit everyone in, and the numbers quickly dwindled. 
Once folks started to see it as a thing that was falling apart, they lost their center of gravity and just started wobbling. Then the preacher stopped coming too, but he left his old tapes. Same with the organist. And I found some old acetates in the bureau archives. Photos of people in churches. So I keep it running. <laughs> the janitor keeps the church running? This is not a very good place. You do what you have to, right? Uh, right now we have to find some bureau documents. Oh, you're from the bureau. I moved all those documents to unit C315 to make room for the mass. It's down at the other end of the building. Same floor. I need to get the night mass started, but you can borrow my keys. I'll go. You wait here. Rest your leg. You're looking kind of pale. Oh yeah, I was going to fix my leg up first. Whoops. Forgot about that. Nice lady. Well, I better get this running. Brandon presses play on an old tape machine. Is your whole family Catholic? Oh no, we're not religious. I just watched and listened while the congregation did all this stuff, and I probably don't understand as much of it as you might think. Anyway, I know how to run the overhead projector and the tape player. At least I know enough to keep it going, right? How do you like working here? It's okay. I don't really know what else I would do. I used to play a lot of card games, you know, in high school. Some of my friends went to college, but most of them just got jobs. Maybe in a few years we'll be hanging out in bars, playing darts or something. You're not allowed to play cards in the bar because it looks like gambling. Let's whine a bit. <laughs> my leg is killing me. I bet everyone's telling you to go see a doctor. Hey, I get it. Too expensive. My dad cut his arm pretty bad on a job, but he stitched himself back up because we didn't have health insurance. But then his hand didn't work very well, and he got pretty depressed, and eventually he just sort of... Well, I guess I don't know what he should have done. Who knows, right? So this is like a hobby? If you ask me what my hobbies were, I'd say card games, science fiction, and perspective geometry. But I run the slideshow, and I play the tapes, and I don't get paid for it. I take it pretty seriously, but nobody's telling me I should. Is that a hobby? Seems like there ought to be a more serious word for it. Uh, okay, that's it. Next, there's some rituals that you and I aren't allowed to participate in, I don't think, and I don't remember them anyway. I got it. Oh, we're just talking about work and hobbies. What? I found what we came here to get. The file on street name changes? You don't look... good. Let's head back to the bureau and get this straightened out. And then maybe we should go see the doctor the clerk recommended. Does that mean we can't go to the doctor first, even if we wanted to? Jesus, are you all right? What the hell? Wait, I'm okay my leg is stuck. Wait, this is like a flashback, sort of. This is like the same dialogue we saw in the mine. Uh, my leg is stuck? Shit, okay, I'm gonna pull you out. Yeah, this is the same as before. Can you put any weight on that leg? It's all messed up. Let's get you out onto the tram. Um, here we go. Hey, old man, look at me. Can you hear me? What happened? I don't know. 
He collapsed. I think he blacked out. He was mumbling about the old mine for a minute. The old mine where we met. I think I need to go see that doctor. Yes, you do. She hands Brandon the doctor's card. How do we get to this address from here? Uh, I don't know. It's pretty tricky going back and forth between, you know, here and there. The bureau's the only way I know. Some of those folks do it all the time. Commuters. Just go back the way you came, find the crystal, and then turn around. What if I didn't go back the way I came? Seriously, how would I ever find my way back? Are any of these even the doctor? None of them say doctor. But I don't know, maybe the doctor was in the Mineral Springs or something? I don't remember. Let's just follow the directions. Can I talk to Blue now? No, still can't. Uh, do I have any reason to talk to Mary Ann? I mean, I should just go up to Lula, right? Uh, let's see. Hey, there's a cat there. Right down there. Back so soon? We need to get to the interstate, 65. Lula filed your papers, so you're in our system now. I can process you whenever you're ready to go back. Just let me know. Wait, 65. Is that, like, back before we came into this place? Can we go back? Yeah, we're definitely not ready yet. Let's stay. Can we pet the cat? Hey, kitty. Nope, we can't. Oh. Uh, where is Lula? I'm just looking up here on the first floor. That's where they were before. Uh, I don't think they're there anymore. Hmm. We'll try the top and see if we spot them along the way, I guess? Presentation, I don't see them. Bears, they're not a bear. Nobody there. Where is Lula? Maybe we have to just go to the doctor right away. It's broken again. Alright, let's head back down. I'll meet you at the bottom. Okay, I guess let's be processed. Whatever that means. And we're ready. She hands a receptionist Lula's card. Can you tell us how to get to this address? We're looking for Dr. Truman. Of course. This is in a neighborhood just outside of Bowling Green. Get on 65 going southwest. Take a right just past the observatory, just before the river. If you continue north, you'll be there shortly. Happy to help. Back out of here. 
back to the overworld, I guess. What is that over there, that horse? I don't remember that. This, I mean, this looks like the same map as before. This is the Marquez Farmhouse, obviously. But... Still. I wonder if things have changed. Okay. From the Marquez Farm. Get on 65, going southwest. Take a right just past the observatory. Okay. Oh, this is Equus Oils, where we started from. Observatory? Yep, take a right. And then where from there? Continue north, you'll be there shortly. Ah. The neighborhood of the address on Lula's card has been demolished. In its place is a large museum still partially under construction. <laughs> what? All right. Oh, it's raining. Hey, Blue. Whoa, what is this? From Thomas. Oh yeah, he was talking to his dog. Guy was a weirdo. Museum staff. Oh, it's like we're watching these people through cameras, I guess? What did he say? Just small talk, you know, like you talk to your buddies or something. Like you talk to a dock worker. Just like, damn, this is a lot of rain. Haven't seen rain like this since that storm a couple years back that took out Lysette's herb garden. I just feel bad for that old dog, getting dragged all over by a couple of drunks. Old dog like that should be sleeping on a porch somewhere. But that's loyalty for you. Well, that didn't stay long anyway. from Flora. I heard the man and the lady talking when they first came in, but they didn't see me. He had his umbrella open inside. <laughs> yes, yes I did. What were they talking about? The man said his leg was hurting him. They were looking for Dr. Truman, but he was already gone. But they didn't know, so they kept looking around. I just assumed they were from the power company. You know how they're always coming by unannounced and messing with this or that. I just shut myself up in my room to wait it out. No sense getting involved. They definitely weren't from the power company. Well, I wouldn't complain if they were, really, with that storm going on. I know they have to do their business. It doesn't affect me, I've got my generator, but you know some of these folks around here. Unprepared. Totally unprepared. That is so interesting. This game just keeps doing strange and fascinating things, like just completely switching the perspective with which you're viewing a story. Like, I'm still in control of the characters, but now when I look at stuff, I'm looking at it through the perspective of people watching through security cams or something. Whoa. Uh, hello? I was playing in that empty cabin and they came by. They asked about Dr. Truman. I know where he went, but I didn't tell them. Why would you withhold that? Where did Dr. Truman go? It's a secret. Ezra told me, and I can't tell anyone else. Who's Ezra? He's my age. He doesn't really live here. He's just passing through with his brother, Julian. 
first they're going to help us, but I can't say any more about that. We have a lot of secrets. The lady asked me about my parents, and I told them they were upstairs in the greenhouse. Do you want to hear a weird story? Of course I do. The old man asked me about the cabin. He said it looked like another house he knew, and he wanted to know where it came from. I told him nobody lived there, so he went inside. He took a long time exploring. When he came back out, he told me all about it. Where was the other house he knew? I don't remember. He seemed sad. Oh, everything's going dark. Was it a place where something sad happened? Yeah, I remember. He woke up there one morning and he didn't know where he was. He was alone. He waited all day for someone to come and tell him why he was there, but nobody did. So he left at sundown. He went upstairs and he also looked around the other rooms. I played with the dog. What was the dog like? Her name is Blue, and I fed her some crackers. She drools a lot. Now, the part that is weird. He said he went into the basement. That cabin doesn't have a basement. He said he found a secret door in the floor. Then he found a rope leading down a long pit and he climbed down. The walls were covered in a glowing moss. He used the light of the moss to find a lake at the bottom of the pit. The water swept him around until he didn't know where he was, and finally he fell asleep in the water. He woke up on the floor of the cabin. He came back outside, and we said goodbye, and I didn't talk to them anymore. Huh. The moment I now recall most clearly from their short visit was the birdcage exhibit. The old man stopped to rest, or maybe to think. The young woman had been anxious up to that point, but she stopped as well and examined the birdcage more closely. It seemed to elicit a tenderness from her. She ran one fingernail along the bars of the wire cage, marking out a tuneless scale like a child's xylophone. And then they moved on. Hello there. Can't seem to talk to him. Sure, I talked to them for a bit. Actually, we talked for quite a while. I wasn't busy. I was happy for the company. Can't sleep in a storm like that. I never could. It's interesting, you can take a couple different, like, perspectives on what you want to know more about. Like, know more about uh, Conway and Shannon in blue, or kind of know more about the the person in the museum, Walker. Right, like, ask them about why they can't sleep, or just ask them what they talked about. Did you see how they got in? They came right in the front door. It wasn't locked. Your security here is kind of... kind of shitty, I wasn't going to say, but... It's a work in progress. Hey, doesn't bother me. I don't think it really bothers anyone. 
A locked door on your neighborhood is a pretty weird idea anyway. I'd like to see a bit more work done on that roof, though. There was a steady stream running down the back wall and right through my... Uh, this little exhibit thing. Anyway, it was just going like a river all night. It's a damn hazard. You've got wires everywhere. Don't you people have anyone to look at this stuff? We ought to get some real chickens in that coop. Do some homesteading. None of these folks know how to live off the land, you know what I mean? Sure, we'll look into it. <laughs> I think you need to get some real horses in this stable. Do you like horses? Not anymore. Now I like jungle cats. You should get some real panthers in this stable. <laughs> that dog was in nearly as bad shape as the old man, just sort of shrugging along. They found some treats in the doghouse exhibit. That seemed to cheer them up a bit. Nice. Uh, actually, let's see, can we go back to this barn? Don't think so. Oh, hey, wait a minute, this barn. That um, emblem up there. I can't really see most of it, but isn't that the emblem we saw on the TV? Through, uh, when we were with Weaver? That is definitely the emblem. No, no, you don't have to come out again. It's all right. Don't think we can go over that way to the house back there. Let's look on the other side. I guess they must have gone through some papers here. It was in some disarray and a few folders were pulled out and left on the table. I mean, it wasn't too bad. I only noticed because Diane is such a stickler. She's real organized, I mean. What folders were they looking at? Yeah, uh, mostly stuff about the building site, I guess. They had a list of all the homes we relocated here. A list of original residences before we leveled the neighborhood. I'd guess they were looking for one of the old residents. They pulled out a list of the folks who didn't take the offer. Folks who moved elsewhere, but they filed that back, out of order. So I guess they didn't find what they were looking for there. Hey, uh, while I have you here, work's kind of slowed down, and it seems like... I know you folks know what you're doing, but it seems like the residents are just kind of settling in. That's the idea. Yeah, I get that. Just... How about that roof, huh? You just write us a check and we'll finish it right up. I know you've got this museum thing going on, but you don't want to be slumlords now. So... They... Offered to relocate people to this museum so that they themselves could be part of the museum? That is strange. That is very, very strange. They were hollering at that empty tent you folks have on display. <laughs> hey, if you ever need anyone to stay in there, I've been in worse positions.
Yeah, they came by and knocked on the window. And we had a bit of a talk through the glass. I would have come out, but, you know, shady characters. They seemed suspicious. I already told you. Weirdos. Walking around door to door asking about Dr. Truman. This late at night. I told them what I know, but... In this weather? What do you know about Dr. Truman? I told them he moved in here with the rest of us when you folks bought up the neighborhood. And then one day, his house was gone. That's all I know about that. I don't want to talk about that anymore. Dr. Truman's house just disappeared? I heard them banging around out there and I just stayed quiet. I don't know what they wanted. Just put my headphones on and tried to ignore them to tell you the truth. Hi there. I was wondering if somebody would come out. Do you know, at first I thought it might be Hudson walking up to visit. I'd heard him working on his boat just a bit earlier, before the storm started. But then I saw the stranger's limping gait and the young woman with him, and I knew it couldn't be. I invited them in for a glass of bourbon, which they politely declined, so I just talked to them on the porch for a bit. What'd you talk about? Oh, we talked a bit about the neighborhood. I told them about Hudson and his sailboat, and the nice young couple in the greenhouse, and the charming Dr. Truman, who used to live here. They were very interested in him, but of course, well, I don't know where he went. Do you know, I don't believe either of them had ever set foot on a houseboat before. I don't know that the older man had ever seen an ocean, in fact. It's always been my fondest dream to retire on a houseboat. That's why I accepted your offer and moved in here. It isn't perfect, but what home ever is. I only wish the house would sway a bit. I find that it settles my nerves. Well, if we have another storm like that last one. Where does this go? Oh, <laughs> we're waiting for Blue to come aboard. Come on, Blue. 